Welcome back, everyone. We have seen a lot of hilarious videos out there about the Super Bowl on social media lately, but one in particular really made all of us here in the studio laugh. And in the newsroom, a student at Arizona State University made that video. She's actually from Delaware County originally. Take a look. What's up, Eagles fans? I'm Grace. I'm from Delco, but I go to college in downtown Phoenix. I'm holding down the fort until you guys get here in a week, but until then, I'd like to show you around so you can take a look at one of our favorite things, the light poles. This is one of the smaller ones. As you can see, we have a couple banner things that are only tied with a zip tie. We do have a little footrest here, so if you really wanted to, if you were tall enough, <laughs> it gives you a little bit of a boost, like no matter what you do, so you could just jump and get to it. Go birds! Go birds! This is the light rail station. It's the equivalent of SEPTA. The roof is kind of tilted, so you can't exactly stand on it unless you really believe in yourself. This is kind of like a canvasy fabric thing up here, so it can't really fit a lot of people like a bus station roof. So please be cautious. This is your standard. I mean, we see these in Philly all the time, right? It's no bra, but it'll do. Easy. This one, this one, up to the traffic light. Maybe if you're lucky and you're really tall, you could get up to the street sign. But I mean, we've all seen these before. These are easy work. So you're not going to have much luck climbing a palm tree as those are massive, but since we're in the desert, all the other trees are tiny. So all the light poles are taken and you just want to climb a tree, they're available. This is one of the more difficult ones. It doesn't have a button. It does have a footrest, but I would say it's a little bit harder to climb because the next thing is here. So, I mean, you could do it, but you have easier options. All right, this one is great because the base makes it super easy. So you have like built-in stuff right there. You climb up here. Even if you wanted to, you could get up to the little lights on the top and just kind of chill out there. The Phoenix and Glendale Police Departments have both released statements saying that they're not greasing the poles at all. So I figured this could come in useful. This is Phoenix. It's not Philly. They're a lot less used to this. The cops aren't going to be throwing out high fives going go birds as you walk down Broad Street. A little disclaimer, I'm not encouraging any illegal activity. I promise. Yeah, disclaimer. If you really believe in yourself, if you really want a challenge, this is doable. I mean, this goes to this whole statue thingy back here. So if you want to climb up the base and just hang on some wires, I guess you can. All right, so that is your tour of the light poles in Phoenix. I can't wait for you guys to get out here. See you next week. Go birds. I love this little tutorial. Joining us live now is Grace Del Pizzo, who you just watched in that video. Grace, thank you so much for waking up early with us and talking to us about this hilarious video. I also love your disclaimer. You're like, no, 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 I'm not promoting this in any way. <laughs> but just in case you want to find some stuff to climb. Anyway, well, we're so glad to have you talking to us this morning. We've all had quite the laugh about this. So what gave you the idea to make this video? So actually, it was my dad's original idea, I will say. He sent me an article about how Glendale and Phoenix police departments were saying they weren't going to grease the poles. And I said, that's not going to end well. And he said, you should go make a video about it. So I got my friend Tyler on board, and we went on a whole tour around the city. We walked. I will say I had the idea for about a day beforehand, so I was kind of like scouting out locations, I will say. <laughs> So, but yeah, I mean, it was my dad's original idea and I just, I took it from there. Well, we just love this video and I actually do love it out there in Phoenix. I've been out there several times, but it's totally a different scene out there, obviously, than here in Philadelphia out there on the West Coast in a sense. So you're a lifelong Eagles fan. You know, tell me a little bit about, you know, just being a sports journalism major as well, an Eagles fan out there in Arizona. How are you kind of merging the two? So the people do end up thinking I'm a little crazy sometimes um, because I'm the only Philly sports fan they've met. So that's why I can't wait for everybody else from the city to come out for the Super Bowl so they know I'm not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're definitely not the only one. They're going to see that. Yeah, no, I can't wait. So sports fans, you know, I'm Philly, very, very passionate, as you know. Not a lot of people understand our pride, though, right? So you're, about, you're saying that lots of the sports fans are going to be out there from Philadelphia. How do you think that the folks out there are going to react and respond to them? I'm certain they're, you know, it's like something they've never seen before. It is something they've never seen before. <laughs> Phoenix, I would say it's, it's more of a basketball town than anything. They really like the Suns. But in terms of Eagles fans, I mean, they're going to be like Phoenix they're really lovely people. Like, they're going to be really hospitable. They're going to welcome us. They might, like, side-eye us, be like, what are they doing? But they're not going to think badly of us or anything unless we do something worth it. But I, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> so what advice would you give, you know, to Eagles fans that are going to be heading out there very shortly, just kind of getting used to, you know, the area? What advice would you give them? 
So the weather's going to be lovely next week, actually. I think it's going to get into either high 60s or low 70s. So bring your shorts. <laughs> Or if you, I mean, I've been thawed out because I've been living here for two years at this point. So I'm out here in like long sleeve shirts most of the time. You can probably get away with a t-shirt. Also, the Rita's are open year round here because oh. there's no winter. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. All right. So lots of yeah, good, you yeah. know, lots of things to celebrate. Anything. Finally, your prediction, Super Bowl prediction. Hmm? Your Super Bowl prediction before we let you go. Oh, so I'm thinking close game because obviously Mahomes is really, really good. I've been talking this over with my friends. I'm thinking 31-27 birds. Wow. Okay. Yep. Um, we're going to go with that, Grace. And we do appreciate the video you made. We appreciate you getting up really, really early with us this morning. And we can't wait for you to embrace your fellow Eagles fans very, very soon out there in Arizona. Okay. Thank you. Can't wait to see you guys. You take care. You know, of course, stay Bye. with CBS News Philadelphia for live coverage from Arizona of Super Bowl 57. Marcella Bayeto is going to be joining our morning team starting next Wednesday. She's going to have live reports throughout the morning for us.